All right, so now we're going to be dealing with a certain type of linear equation. Uh, when we're dealing with uh, distance, rate, and time, the rate or the speed of which we travel is the slope of my equation. So uh, today we're just going to do an, uh, basically a review or kind of a look back on what is uh, distance, rate, and time, and how do we find what's missing when given. All right, so DeMarco ran 10 miles. All right, we'll underline that. After school yesterday. He completed his run after five hours. And the question asks us, what was DeMarco's average rate of speed? All right. So I underline those things because in order to find what the information we need, we need to have some type of equation we plug it into. Now, the distance someone traveled, so distance, and in America we usually use miles, okay, miles or feet, but in this case we're using miles, so distance equals the rate of which someone ran, or the rate of how fast something is going, times time. I mean, how long did it take for some, someone to do it? So distance equals rate times time. And another way we say that is just DRT, or as I say, dirt, because the equal sign starts with E, so I'd call it dirt. All right, but... This is how, this is the equation we're going to use to figure out how, uh, either how far we went, the distance, how fast we went, the rate, or how long it took, the time. And so if we know two of these things, we can find the missing one. All right, so back to my problem, it says, DeMarco ran 10 miles. Now, 10 miles sounds a lot like distance to me, so I'm going to write all my variables here, D, R, and T. And distance is 10 miles. That makes sense, because that would be the length of something. All right, he completed his run after five hours. Five hours is time, because, again, it takes five hours for him to do it. And so what was DeMarco's average rate of speed? So that's the question it's asking, so we don't know what the rate is. So let's go ahead and plug in the information we know into the equation. So distance we know is 10 miles, and yes, I must write the units, always write the units, equals the rate, which we don't know, so we'll keep it as R, times T, which is 5 hours. So how do I find the rate, meaning how do I get the variable by itself in this equation? Well, you guys know about one-step equations, not too bad. We divide by 5 hours to get R by itself. So divide 5 hours on both sides. So these cancel. All I left is R, or the rate, on the right. On the left, here we go. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And now my units. It's miles over hours. So I, have to, I can't cancel any of them out, so I have to write it. So 2 miles per 1 hour. Or again, in America, the way we usually say it is 2 miles per hour. And again, that's the rate. And that makes sense because the rate is the speed of something. Again, how fast it's going. And when we're in a car, or when we're running in this case, two miles per hour sounds about right. So that is how we find the missing piece. We plug in what we know, and then we just work our, uh, we do basic algebra to find the missing piece. And if we can cancel our units, we cancel our units. If we can't cancel them, then we just keep them. So that's a basic uh, tutorial on how to calculate distance equals rate times time.